have. He, you know, he never gives up. He says he will not die, and the fans trying to get behind Hardy. But oh no! Spider ducks and hits a big German suplex. And now Swagger just look at the choke man Hardy out. Going for that neck and arm area again. Three. And utilizing the whole five count. Oh, and Matt Hardy needs to get back in this match. He needs to find an opening. Swagger, big clothesline. And Matt Hardy is in big trouble. Matt Hardy whooped in the corner again. Swagger looking for that Swagger bomb. Swagger. We're going to put Matt Hardy. Oh, Matt Hardy gets out of the way. Matt Hardy gets out of the way. And this is the opening he needs. Side effect. What a side effect. Matt Hardy now into the cover. Can he do this? One. Two. And Swagger kicked out in two. Like Matt Hardy found that opening. But Swagger again just back on the attack. Oh, Jack Swagger looking for that gut wrench power bomb. Matt Hardy, what a counter! And now Matt Hardy, is he thinking, going to the top rope? Is he thinking? Swagger catches Matt Hardy. Well, Matt Hardy gets a boot up. And a clothesline. What a clothesline off the top. And a neck breaker. Matt Hardy is feeling it now. Can Matt Hardy capitalize and get a huge victory over Dex Swagger, knowing they have a re the Hardys have a rematch against Swagger and Angle next week for the tag titles? And now Swagger knows! Solar first! And Swagger looking to end a government's powerbomb. It, uh, taking that injured arm of Matt Hardy, and Swagger is going to put Matt Hardy away. Two and three. And Jack Swagger gets a big victory, maybe an upset, over the former world champion Matt Hardy. One thing I wanted to bring up is Tornado spot Jeff Hardy. And see, this is the opening Matt Hardy had. Jack Swagger, I mean, you saw that he, he, he what, he, as Hardy goes shoulder first. You know what I bring up, that angle, uh, as Mock, Jeff Hardy, that his brother, the weaker link supposedly of the Hardy, has got the world title for him. And Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. I don't know what this win means for Jack Swagger, but this falls, I think, might motivate the Hardy to take back the tag titles and hopefully give Jeff Hardy his fourth world title victory in his career. But what a win for Jack Swagger. Will Jack Swagger and Kurt Angle win? Next week, will Kurt Angle retain? There's, there's so many questions to be answered. And here we are with Danny Jackson who won the Royal Rumble last year for a reckoning formally. This man is resurrected his career with his new attitude. Talking Rey Mysterio like Christian has it like. Danny says, screw the fans. I win for me, myself, and me only. It's not being in a popularity contest, he just simply wants to be the best, wants to be at the top. And Grissom, what is with, don't be rapping, please. And ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have a tag match. We saw Danny Jackson's interview. And uh, up next, we're going to have Kristen and Rey Mysterio team up against the Monster Abyss and Danny Jackpot. I mean, Danny Jackpot, I mean, his new attitude all started at bragging rights whenever he hit, uh, hit uh, Samoa Joe with a steel chair and walked out on Kristen. Christian was defenseless, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure what that was about, but he just got himself disqualified.
there was a one on two situation. Smug Joe got a tag in to Stone Cold, and Stone Cold won the match for his team. Danny Jackson returns and just takes up Christian and has become obsessive now with the World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, he took Rey Mysterio out of a match that was supposed to happen at Bragging Rights. So it was Goldberg, who was the then champion before he was screwed out by Vicky Guerrero and Edge. Took on Ocean Jack during his way. And here's Rey Mysterio, where Danny Jacklin took him out. And then Danny Jacklin beat Rey Mysterio at Survivor Series. You know, the feud between Mysterio and Danny, I don't think it's over. Which is why our management has decided to make a tag match. I say, uh, I mean, even though Abyss is a monster at 350 pounds, the way he was, the brutal match of the Hell in a Cell against The Undertaker, I don't think Abyss is 100%, so I think this match actually benefits Christian and Rey Mysterio, who have no doubt have a tremendous amount of anger for Danny Jackpot. Christian beat Danny. Uh, Danny beat Rey Mysterio. And then, uh, question, another question is, can Danny and the Bitch get along? I mean, you know that the monster of this, uh, I mean, he after he beat Rey Mysterio on the last two seconds ago, Danny Jackman came out and basically like, insulted the monster of this, saying, oh, he can't win against the Undertaker with Danny says, oh, I can. And Danny Jackman actually did that. Undertaker won against Abyss for the first time. Danny actually beat the Undertaker via some Abyss interference. So, can Danny and Abyss get along? Is Abyss 100%? Will Danny Jackson try to beat Christian? Well, uh... Well, the whole Christian Danny situation was Christian he caught up Danny getting in his business when Christian Crowley won the World Heavyweight Championship. I guess in that feud against Kurt Angle, Danny got involved in that. Christian didn't like that. That's kind of what foreshadowed the whole feud between them. And he guarantees a second Royal Rumble victory. He says he's gonna love the fans' reaction when he wins again. And here comes the monster of this, taking off the wounds. I hope, I don't know. Is a miss 100 percent Is there beef between him and Danny? Is I mean, you know Abyss will try to prove a point, though, in this match. It will prove that he's still the most dominant man in WWE, despite losing to The Undertaker in a match where... I mean, it could have gone either way. These two men, Undertaker and Abyss, literally put their lives on the line of that match. Uh, that was The Undertaker's playground, to be fair. I mean, in any other match, Abyss beat Undertaker. But he has two losses now, and another loss here... I don't think it would be good for Abyss's psyche at all. See these two, Danny and Christian, trading hold for hold. Christian shoves Danny away. Surprisingly, Christian really hasn't aggressively going after Danny, but maybe that's what Danny was expecting. Christian trying to throw Danny off his game. Now going for a suplex. Nicely executed. Suplex. Christian Ray Mysterio have teamed up many times before. Most notably they oh Danny. I mean doesn't even want any part. And look at this, Christian and Abyss. I mean, they've had quite a rivalry before in TNA. And oh, look at the fist! Just oh, he, he's still dominant. This man is not even human. He he shakes off any abuse he's had. He's showing no signs of this bat of of what happened at Hell in a Cell. I mean, this man is just so capable of oh. 
of just shrugging away pain and punishment. Well, that's what a best lives for. He just lives to punish people and enjoys being punished. Well, this man is just sick. I'm very sure that to break it up. Going back to the Christian Abyss library. Oh! Christian. I mean, they, they had a low library in TNA. And, oh, take out Rey Mysterio. And Christian and Rey Mysterio teamed up many times before they actually teamed up first. They took on Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. If we're wrong about Christian and Danny Jack fighting. Both debuted in WEDF at the same time. Actually teamed up against uh, uh, a good Mysterio going for head scissors. It was on a short episode of Raw back in 2009. He might knock some snicks, I believe. Oh, look at Mysterio! Take it up, this and maybe this isn't 100%. Mysterio with a. Oh, not even a one count. Well, Abyss is. No! What a Samoan drop. Abyss, Abyss actually looked vulnerable. You really can't say that much about the monster. And look at Mysterio, he's in a bad. Oh! Mysterio, what a counter! Count a power bomb! 619 dialing it up! Mysterio, see No! Abyss just countered! What a counter! M Mysterio went for that. See, he sent on, but. Abyss calling him in the power bomb! Danny Chank right now! Has the upper hand just like he wants. Because Rey Mysterio. That's what Danny Jackpot wants. He wants to have his opponents down and out. And picks up the wants to pick up the scrap. Danny's a crafty veteran in this business. So that's why he's a sixteen time CAW world champion. That's why he's a one time WEDF champion. He's just so crafty. I mean the way he won his first championship in WEDF, the WEDF championship, he's crafty because of his rivalry against Dr. Pizza. It's spilled over in WEF somehow. This man is crafty. He'll probably try to find a way to win a world championship that way again. Still with the head scissors. Now Christian's in. And Christian with the right hand. Christian is my first man here. Knocking down Danny. Christian is rolling. I mean, Christian got that hot tag from Ray Mysterio, who's abused by. Danny and Abyss for a short time. And there goes the monster. I look at Christian. Can't, will he put Danny away? We got a suplex. But Danny Jackpot reverses from the corner. Look at Christian. Oh, Christian, what a counter. Christian the veteran. Now going up high. This is classic Christian going for that missile drop kick. Christian again, top rope. Another missile drop kick. Well, let's put Danny away after two straight missile drop kicks. Two and a bit there to break it up. Uh, Danny Jackpot reverses. Christian. He called him. Call him in the wall. Will this be it? One! And Abyss there to break it up again! This showing concern for his partner, Danny! And, oh, what a jawbreaker! And now Danny Jackpot has got him set for the dope! Look like he was going for the short two, but Christian counters! Christian, now springboard elbow! What an exchange between Christian and Danny! Now Christian going up high! And, oh! Christian got caught! And oh! Ray Mysterio trying to get involved! And Abyss is getting involved now too! The partners of these men trying to get involved as well! And now Christian finds himself in a bad situation! And Abyss gets tagged in with an elbow drop! Christian, uh, Abyss and Danny actually getting along and... What? I don't think Danny won't. I don't think Danny won't be tagged in. Abyss just tagged him in. And Danny says, "What the hell, Abyss?" 